Between door number three. Damn those people. <laughs> but we're going to try to live up to their uh, level anyway. And the way we do that is just like with that last show. The quality of our show depends entirely on you. If you give us good locations when I start to ask for them, it's going to be a great show. If you don't do your part, <laughs> so the way we're going to do this is right now I just need from anybody in the audience a non-geographical location. Woody Allen. Allen. I heard that might have been a geographical location. I heard a Woody Allen movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, location. Yeah, it's not quite a location. Uh, so another location. Volkswagen manufacturing facility. I heard Volkswagen manufacturing. And then uh, before anybody else, did I hear like a tea something? I heard tea shop. Yeah. Tea shop. Oh, you wrote that one first. Wow. Well, I, I heard it first. <laughs> <laughs> You better write out both for Police station. Um, okay, I got. It. Oh my gosh, are you serious? You know, usually the joke is way better than this. Uh, we've got two more after he finishes there. We have a bunny burrow. Bunny burrow. And a very. I'd like to have them unrelated, but burrow. B U R. And the other one, very related, but it was a police station. <laughs> okay. I, I thought you were going to say Bunny Township. So. <laughs> so we've got four. Can I get another non-geographical location? Jungle. Is it jungle different? Yeah. Sure is. <laughs> Capitol Hill. <laughs> so we can't say Capitol Hill because that's the same. So we need one last location. <laughs> I heard two things. I heard beach and I heard something else. We heard beach, so I mean... Okay, beach. Because I said beach first. Because that's the one I heard. Have to talk into this here, not this here. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do now is those actually are great selections. So now you've done your part. So now the pressure is really on us. So good job. On, give yourselves a round of applause. And so now we at Precipice Improv are very honored to give you a once-in-a-lifetime show. The play that we like to call... Tea shop, Volkswagen plant, Bunny Burrow, police station, jungle, beach. Appreciate it. You know, I, it's, it means a lot to me that you would, uh, you know, you would take time out of your busy schedule to, you know, to, to share this time with me. Well, well, why wouldn't I? I mean, you know, you're you mean a lot to me. Really? Because it would mean a lot to me if if I meant a lot to you. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. You know, then feel feel good because it, it does mean a lot to me that. I mean a lot to you. <laughs> the thing is, you know, I grew up in a uh, family of 17 children. Yeah, my, my parents, they, you know, made it like rabbits. And, and, and I never really got any attention, you know? I mean, we actually only were able to celebrate every sixth birthday. <laughs> because, you know, if they had a birthday for all the kids every year, that's all we'd be doing. I mean, so I was just, you know, swept aside and, 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 just, and just ignored. And I, and I, I developed this, this inferiority complex, like I was invisible. I'd walk into a room and nobody would see me. So to have somebody as accomplished as Bob, you know, take his time out of his day to, you know, to see me for who I am, well, that really gives me the confidence to, to move on in life. Hey, I meant to ask, how's your brother? <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing okay. My sisters are doing well, too. You know, all 15 of them. <laughs> yeah, the probabilities. You could flip coins and you just wouldn't have come up with that one, you know? Uh, right. It's uh, one to over two to the 17. <laughs> wow, you did that fast. Yeah, well, it's always one over two to the however many people there are, you know. It's kind of easy. I, 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 I'll take your word for it. <laughs> So, um, anyway, I'm going to go uh, 
take a swim, I guess, you know? I, I haven't been swimming a long time, but you know, you, you give me the confidence to uh, just, you know, get, get down and, and into the water, huh? Just, uh, just, just feel nature just overwhelming me. It has. <laughs> uh, you look, you look, uh, you look good. I, I've been working out. I see that. Yeah, yeah. I see that. You're, you, there's a, a muscle tone that's arisen. Right. Well, well, I'm, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just, I'll just go in the water and, and swim. I haven't really swam for a very long time, but you've given me the confidence to try. Okay. Well, then go ahead and swim. I'll, I'll just look at you from here. Okay. <laughs> Lifeguard? Yeah. What? Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Help me! Oh, Help me! Oh. Oh. All right, all right, no, no, no! I have to dip you under the water again! <laughs> Maybe I'll just do that, and uh, maybe I'll have the opportunity to save somebody else. Maybe I'll just jump in myself, waiting for people to go drown themselves, and then uh, I'll be right there for them. Because that's obviously what I want to do, is just save people as they drown. Oh, wait, there's somebody who's supposed to do that. Oh, yes, the lifeguard. Hey, where have you been? <laughs> How dare you? you? You you know what I've been through. And I thought you were here to be my friend and, and, and now, 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 now you mock me because I inconvenience you know well forget you, all right? Yeah, yeah, well forget you. Uh, I, I, I can I can I can take care of my own life. I made it this well I made it as far as that, anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, that's, that's fine. Say hello to Joe for me. Okay. Joe. And, and uh, Joanna. And, and Denise. Joellen and, and, yeah, and Joe for you. And, and, you know, uh, just the list. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> How's your friend? Well, he's going to be okay. Thanks to me. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> you are so brave the way you jumped in. Yeah, I... With no regard to your own personal safety. 
pulled your friend out. Well, actually, I kissed him passionately. No, that's not what happened. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're very brave in so many ways. Well, thank you. I, I feel brave. Uh, you do feel brave. <laughs> you know, I'm all of a sudden alone. Uh, would you like to join me in a glass of wine? It's a really big glass of wine. See, a joke. Hey, darling. Oh, my gosh, look at this. So I saw you over there. I got your friend. Safe him, kiss him. I know, again, it wasn't a kid. It was like mouth to mouth. You know, it just happened. And... <laughs> oh, I see you, uh, you picked up some uh, flotsam and jetsam here. <laughs> Which one is she? I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, we can all just have a, a nice time together. I have a lot of wine. Actually, I was going to just have wine. I don't know. I don't really know if I go that way. I doubt she goes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I go every way. You know, that, that's great. I mean, I, I go always, too, you know. Yeah, she goes every way. Just think of all the various um, cultures she's growing on various parts of her body. Don't you have a red tie you should go out on? <laughs> yeah, so you know each other. I, I, you know what? I'm going to... Uh, why don't you just have my wine, and I'm going to uh, just go back to work, because I, I really need to go back to work, but it's, uh, it's, it's great. I didn't mean to attack you like that. That's not what I normally do with a woman. You okay. can have me <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's OK. OK, you know you what? You know what I'm you're not... missing. <laughs> yeah, I think I do. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, you did it to me last time, so I thought I'd do it to you this time. Now yeah, this is my beach, okay? I bought that this section, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm really tired of you, you know, moving into my territory. Your beach ends at the fourth pier. Yeah, one, two, three, four. You're not very good at math, were you? I thought we were counting from that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, then. Maybe we should just do it from the middle here. From the middle here, but there, there's no buts and give back. You know, Trip. Oh, look, here's oh, another one. Great. He's on, he's on your side. Oh, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> oh, you have that a metal detector. At Dan's apartment. Hey, Dan, I'm so sorry I'm late. Yeah, well, you know, I'm used to being stood up. I'm used to being ignored. So what's, what's, what's new? Uh -huh. uh, I, I brought a bottle of wine. Bob's giving it out these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you came by. I should be thankful for every little no, no, bit no, no, I did. No. You have a court suit? Uh, no, but it's Bob. <laughs> ah, yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, the hell with the glasses. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe I'll just get some water. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not sure what to do. You know, what can I tell you? I just, uh, it's just a no-win situation for me. Maybe I should just hang it up, uh -huh. you know? Just, just, just hang it up and walk off into the sunset somewhere, huh? What do you think? How's your sister? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> Beatrice. Beatrice? She's doing okay. <laughs> she and Joellen and Joanne and Joe Sue and Betty Lou all moved in together. Oh, well, good for them. Yeah, well, you know, Joellen and Betty Lou hey, don't Dad. get to Dad, are you going to tuck me in? <laughs> sure. Sure, I'll, I'll tuck you in. Hey. Son. Hey, hey, Dan Jr. Hey. Hi, Rick. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you can't help it. It's your genetics. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, Dad, I, I just really would like to have my own life without you kind of raining on my parade. Oh, I'm raining on your parade, huh? Well, not exactly, Dad, but I'm only in the fourth grade. I have just all this potential ahead of me, and you keep just saying, well, your genetics don't allow you any success. All right. 
Okay, then, 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 then we'll, we'll put genetics aside and we'll, and, and we'll do nurture. Yes! Nurture! Nature didn't work, nurture will do, will, will do for you. Okay! So I'll, 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 I'll teach you everything I know. Excellent! Okay. I learned that word. Excellent! <laughs> yeah. It was then that Dan went on an extreme uh, course of, of education for his son. First we did chess. King to pawn two. King to pawn three. I can't do that. Dance. No, back. But and then we did uh, jump rope. <laughs> back, back, go, 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 go. I am the tiger. And then it was juggling. <laughs> Look at those kitchens go. <laughs> Skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> a wall! It's a wall! <laughs> Classical Greek. <laughs> Ave! <laughs> Ubros. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> That's modern Greek. <laughs> Flash forward. <coughs> more skills and the most eclectic motley group of skills that any fourth grader has ever had. Wait, I, I can't wait to show Mrs. Halfgood just what I can do. That's right, she's only half good. You're all good. Oh, I've never used that line before. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I feel like a winner. <coughs> wow, I, I feel like a winner now. I mean, I was able to, to give my son something that I wasn't able to have. You stepped up. Yeah. I mean, you. I don't want to be. But usually I'm a little. Eh, dance. Or, but that was like. Damn. Yeah. You know, if I could do it for him, maybe I could do it for me. What's the thing? <laughs> 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 I think it's apparatus. <laughs> Soccer is <laughs> Plato. Wow. I'm still now. I'm, I'll show up. I could go out and conquer the world with all my skills. You are your own man, but you're this world's all man. And that's right. I am. It's like you're on center stage with lights coming down on you. This is all a metaphor. But it's as if the world is your audience. I feel like it's actually happening. <laughs> That's it. That kind of visualization works. The next morning at the VW factory. <coughs> Look, I, shouldn't you be installing some software? <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap. Crap that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is good. This is good because we're selling so much right lately. <laughs> So uh, it would just be fantastic if uh, we had a way of, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and I, now, I'm going to deny this when you they ask me questions, but just if you could just, uh, oh, what are we talking about? Saying, like, the emissions are really good. If there's a way to do that, that would be fantastic. <laughs> but we don't know if there's any way to do that, is oh, there? I can't oh, so. What? Do we see ourselves hopping up instead of being the efficient Germans that we are supposed to be? Yes, no, no. You me greatly. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm still getting used to this. I, I just, I, we should now have opened the plant up here in the United States. Herr Mond! What? No, stop that. Guten Tag! Guten Tag! Dein Dennis, wir müssen mal schauen. Ja! Ja! Ich habe keine Idee. Ja! Ah, <laughs> uh, look, I mean, you know, it's, it's just, it, it's... I have a I've been in United States so long, I forget most of my journey. Mm. I, I, I keep the accent and lose the vocabulary. That's amazing. <laughs> it's the other way around. Uh. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's just that in Kentucky, you know, that accent, it, it just, it, brings up sort of a, a different kind of feeling. Everybody seems I come from the bad movies. They treat me like a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why. Oh, 
<laughs> Here are my papers, by the way. That was 70 years ago. Okay, I completely come to terms with this. All right. Uh, Wait, have you even have monuments in Berlin? Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, there are more people. That is why it depresses me to find out that you have been cheating. It depresses me to find out that you have been, you have been doing excrement on the name of our foreign company. I, you know, <coughs> just, I wouldn't call it excrement. I was just- But well, I was to trying to keep it PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's fine. I, I just, uh, you see, you have to understand uh, uh, what uh, my whole life has been this company. And now you have taken it and you have frightened the, the, the reputation in the mud. Well, it's a, it, well, yes, yes, <laughs> I, I, it is in the mud now. It is for me now. I'm disgraced. I'm humiliated. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yes, you are. You're humiliated, and so am I. And uh, <laughs> you've got nothing to say. <laughs> Uh, this is the first accident in like 23 days. Damn it! Sorry. We were on like on a three seconds. That's fine. <laughs> no accident in 10 seconds. Sorry. <laughs> this is going from bad to worse. We must cover this up. We must cover everything up. <laughs> <laughs> I will dispose of him. Yeah. You just keep it funny. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is Mark. I mean, uh, the, the not uh, the Germans are really pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> we 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 can't. Uh, we have to boost sales. We have to we have to cover I this up first. Bing, I know I know what we're gonna do. You got it. Yeah. Seventy-three miles a gallon. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's, it's not that hard to do. Any third grader with any knowledge of programming can do it. I like it. I, I don't know why I like it because okay, but well, we're going to do that. <laughs> Come on, let's go work on the software. Later at the tea shop. <laughs> Man, the size of the roaches here. <laughs> well, you know, this is one of those groovy tea shops. They don't like, you know, to, to kill any of the bugs. They don't have pesticides or anything. You know, it's sort of a Janus tea shop. Yes, it is. So, um, you notice the difference? And it's not just that native tea. I see it. Yeah, it's the new me. We're well. Yeah, I, uh, things have been going great swimmingly. Yeah, it, it, it turns <laughs> out that sky, mine skydiving is all the rage. <laughs> <coughs> you don't believe me? I mean, I read it on the Yahoo front page, so it has to be true, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yahoo? So what herbs are you drinking? Uh, it's just a lilac green. Ooh, lilac green. I hear that's, that's uh, very good for, um, for nerves. Yeah. I mean, there's really no- What?! <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe you should get a double shot. <laughs> I'll, get some, I'll get some more lilac for you here. <laughs> double shot, lilac, please. Yes, thanks. Just the whole bag. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> I've been drinking chamomile. <coughs> it soothes me, you know. I, I, I was always very, very jittery, but it just really, you know, you know just puts me to sleep. Mm. <laughs> I can see you've been very calm this entire conversation. <laughs> well, you know, relative for me, you know, it's, all, it's all on the scale, you know. I can be calm. Want to see me be calm? <laughs> Just doesn't sit with me. No, I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just have too much, too much nervous energy coursing through my veins. No matter how much tea I drink, maybe I should switch to decaffeinated. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
he'd be happier with all this confidence. I mean, well, you know, like, it's confidence, but now it's pressure, you know? Now I have, like, I never had a reputation at all. I was ashamed of that. And now I have a reputation to live up to that, I, that I'm worried about. It's, just, it's, it's, it's like a catch-22. The G's down there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I just think you, you guys were just so stressed out and so not mellow that I brought you mellow oolong. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you, you said last week that maybe we could have dinner this week. I'll get more tea. <laughs> <laughs> Still, uh, still a little frustrated there, are we? I mean, frustrated is one way to put it. Yeah, I know. You know, it's been hard here these past few, past few months. Yeah. I think I'm doing a good job moving on. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Not from where I sit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I built a rapport with another what? Hey! Yeah. <laughs> another woman and. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Did you actually see a roach go through here? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, they're kind of all over the place. <laughs> oh, I think I see one. I hope oh, that's a tranquilizer gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they tranquilize the roaches and release them back into the wild. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The problem is that tea shops are their natural habitat, so they just keep coming back. <laughs> well, you know, the problem is the ones here have been relocated from a different tea shop. Uh, <laughs> I mean, really, it's a vicious cycle of tea shops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only ones that are free are the vegan tea shops, because yeah. nobody eats that stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Ever since Beatrice turned me down, I just haven't gone out on another date. Wow. You need to. Uh, you need to get out there. You need to. You do like what I do, you know. I, I, I learned multiple skills. You should date multiple women. <laughs> Maybe you'll learn multiple skills too. Yeah. I guess. I don't know how those skills really translate. I mean, let me check Yahoo. <laughs> Six spring fashion's coming back to season. <laughs> Twelve movies that you haven't seen that you should. <laughs> oh. Look, a way to make bacon that'll make it faster and quicker. <laughs> yeah, really, really great. Oh, keep scrolling. Yeah, the, the, the 10 women every man should date. The Joker. <laughs> the intellect. Yeah, yeah. The boss. The yogi. The vixen. Why not? Absolutely. You know what? Talk to you later. Okay. That night in Todd's house. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> I'm ruined. I'm ruined. It's, it's all over the TV. Everywhere I go, it's just like they're, they seem to be relishing in, in my failure in my in my cover-up I'll have to resign or get Johan to resign that's probably better get <laughs> Johan to resign but I'll have to resign too oh god this is no good this is no good <laughs> ding dong ding dong yeah You must hide. <laughs> well, this is not a good place for you to hide. This is the first place they come to look. Ugh. I'm not used to this. I'm always such a more upstanding person. Well, that's, uh, I am too. <coughs> I just wanted the full sales, okay? I, I know. Stupid California. Yeah. <laughs> your intentions were good. Your intentions were good, but your sight was short sighted. You should have been thinking in the long term. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I am not trying to mock you. I am just. Oh my goodness! Oh God! You have translated yourself into me. 
Yes, I know I've always had a very powerful personality. <laughs> yeah. It's always been a problem in my life. What do I do? Everyone, you just go with it. Ah. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll start being very efficient. <laughs> Ding dong. You see, you answer the door immediately. <laughs> it's happening already. Bah. Where are your papers? <laughs> Give me your papers! Yeah. Oh, never mind. Come in. Come in. Bring Come in. the in. Oh. Yeah. Why must you do this? Oh. Yeah. All right, don't. That's fine. <laughs> see, I just saw on the news. I'm looking for you. That's fine, I know. See, I look for you. I'm not sure. It's like you. What? You're the Volkswagen guy. That's right. Well, I, I'm the Volkswagen guy, too. I mean, you knew that. Well, I'm the boss. Yes, he is. No, his picture's on the news. I must go down with his ship, even though they are cars. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the fault. I will turn myself in for the good of the company. I, I can't understand a word you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I will turn myself in for the good of the company. The good of the company. I will... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see the police side. The police. Police. I will try to speak in accent you will understand. <laughs> I am going down to see the police. <laughs> you should do that. I'll do that right away. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Good luck to you, sir. Danke. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good guy. Well, you know, he grows on you. <laughs> well, what about you? What about me? I'm so timid. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything about me is fine. There is no reason to worry whatsoever. I don't understand the word you're saying. <laughs> I am okay. <coughs> The grass moves slowly over the empire. <laughs> Ding dong. I will get door. That might be the police. Then I must face. Do you need to contact your lawyer? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, hold him up. Call your lawyer. Who is it? It's Mark. Oh, it's fine. It's Mark. Hello, Thomas. You must come here right away. <laughs> He's been doing some, I don't know, Western accent or something. <laughs> it is not Western, you. Hello, Mark. I am kaput. I am Vishnukin. Why are you talking like that? I am shish kebab. <laughs> I have no way to move forward. I must move forward. <laughs> I think I need to. I could call the hospital. On the other hand, if he's not really himself, there is a reward. <laughs> what kind of reward could it be for if I'm not myself? And who else could I be? <laughs> you know, I'm going to go in uh, the other room and pretend like I'm looking for a bottle of wine while I surreptitiously make a phone call. Right. Uh, Why are you telling me now I know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> if you go down, I'm going down too. Yes, not this just is you. It's, you know, I'm the one who do. You oh, did the software. You are you are even more kaput. Hello, Crime Stoppers? I can deny uh, this. You can Yes, this is Crime Stoppers. Hi, hi. Uh, my name is Rick, and um, the person in charge of the cover-up at the VW plant? Yes. I know where he is. I know where he is? Well, 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 well if you tell us, you are the 15th whistleblower this week. You win the prize. On <laughs> 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 the trip to the Cayman Islands. <laughs> Wow, awesome. I was just going for the $10,000. No, you'll get that too. Oh, my God. And, and this is a big gift. You can blow the whistle on more than one person. Uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> I think I might spot an accomplice. Uh, anyway, Bob and the accomplice... Bob and the accomplice Mark are right here at 5123... Founders Hill. Okay then. We'll be we'll, we'll, we'll be sending our team right over. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know this tea. It, it makes me feel so much calmer. I 
<laughs> I'm back to myself. It's just like, uh, I think it's uh, Oolong. Oh, don't, don't get back to yourself. Uh, well, that's who I am. I mean, no, the best mechanism no, serves just... a purpose. Uh, ding dong. Oh, let me ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. You know, they ring so much. Oh, ah. gosh. Wow, it might be the police. It might be. So you don't want to watch a little bit of Doc's boots? Bring the camera. This is Crime Stopper. Oh, I love that show. Yes, and you're the star. Is this 54321 Founders Lane? Yes, it is. And who's Rick? Rick is over there. Well, Rick, what did he do wrong? Rick gets this life-size check for $10,000 and a trip to the Cayman Islands. And you must be Bob and Mark. Well, yes, we are. You get a different kind of trip. Down the river. Later at the police station. <laughs> All right, y'all. Come on in here and take a seat. <laughs> Jesus shows up a mirror. I can't believe it. So, you think you're so smart. Well, yeah, actually, I was talking to my that. class. I was born in Harvard, and I graduated from Milan, and it was really... Oh, no, I'm not so You're nervous. a Harvard guy. Well, he is, yeah. He codes real well. <laughs> well, not that well. It's not like no, I can pull I mean, off some could, huge sort of... Right, he couldn't pull off some huge sort of scam where people don't catch it for months and months. Crazy talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you know, this is it for you. This is the end of the line. Would be... Well, we have a book here sending it out. So take a few minutes. Take a few minutes to commit a rape with yourself there. I'll be back. I just thought that whole police thing was an Irish stereotype. I, I did too. I mean, it's like, it really is good to well, see that it's true. <laughs> We're really oh, in trouble. Oh, God. I cannot believe that you came in here and gave yourselves up to be with me in my hour of deepest need. I am so blessed. With uh, such friends. Well, Johan, you know there's. This isn't like me, but give me a hug. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you know, you, all right, sure. Oh, there you go, Johan. I, <laughs> I never would have thought that the boy from Harvard had actually morals. <laughs> I didn't think they taught that at Harvard. I, I learned that at Hebrew school. Wonderful. Maybe they will let us share this cell. Oh, that'd oh, be great. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, you never know how that's going to work out. Yeah. Uh, we can have such fun together. Playing dominoes. <laughs> <laughs> or craps, you know. I, I got to say, Johan, you're taking this very well. I mean, you're, your whole life is crumbling down, and, and you're just playing dominoes in a cell. Wow, I have to learn to be that way. I find it's taking the huge weight off my chest, of my chest. My chest. <laughs> I feel now all the pressure is off. I know exactly what my rest of my life is going to be. Sitting in the cell. Hey, Dominus. Maybe some hangman. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. I never know very good at games. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't get a chance to play them. Maybe now you'll have that chance. I, uh, I was pretty good at games myself. Really? Yeah. You see, when I was young, I was just successful at everything. I, I found that uh, whatever I did, whatever I chose, there wasn't anything I couldn't do. If I wanted to save somebody's life, gosh golly, right there somebody would be needing life saving. And I was always there. Papers wrote me up. I got many women, two at a time, <laughs> until I got bored. Until I got bored enough to say, you know, I'm giving it all up to work at a car factory. <laughs> <laughs> There, you get back to the nuts and bolts, literally, <laughs> and it, it screw things up. <laughs> so I was ready to do that 
And then I, I just went back to my old ways. I decided that I wanted to sell more cars. Sell more cars, who cares? Cars are just a thing. What I ended up doing was selling myself. <laughs> I used to look behind and see smartphones. There are many games we can play. Here's one, Overrun France. There's a sequel, Overrun Poland. Yes, I know the sequel. It's like Avalon Hill. You should be playing. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't believe the way this just turned out for me. I was, I was a good, I was the best programmer. I was, but I wanted more. I wanted, I wanted to be recognized. In fourth grade, I learned how to program in BASIC, and I was the first one to actually master BASIC. And people said you can't really do much with BASIC, but that's bullshit. And I was actually able to hack into the Department of Defense Computers when I was 12 years old. By then, I had actually learned Fortran and, and COBOL, too. And I was on my way to becoming a computer scientist. But no matter how many great, wonderful programs I got, I never got any recognition. And that's what I really missed most. No recognition. Oh, wow, that's great, but, you know, other people could do that, too. You know, but could they do as well as I could? No. But I knew one day, yeah, I'd go into the regular, I'd be the workforce, I'd get a job, maybe work for, I don't know, a car company. <laughs> I don't know if I could really make my mark there, but then the, the opportunity came up, and... And I, I kind of wanted revenge. And it's like, well, sure, it's, it's unscrupulous, it's immoral, but it's going to actually make a name for myself. I didn't know that it was going to end up like this. I was very great at computers, but I was really bad at forecasting the future. <laughs> so what do you see in our future? <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to ask me. <laughs> actually, I actually programmed that game. Yeah, I did. Wow. Yeah, it's a good game. It's fantastic. Thanks. I wonder where my lawyer is. You have the lawyer? Yeah, I mean, you know, the first thing you do when you get arrested is you call your lawyer. <laughs> In this country, yeah. <clears throat> maybe I can do short number two. Well, I, I think he'll probably want to split the cases up. You know, Got a lot of work. So I, I don't know that time. we want to unite as like one defense, because uh, you probably ordered me to do it, and I. <laughs> you know, I I had to follow orders. Oh, so. Jesus. <laughs> 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 so you're really trying to stick it in the gazooka dog, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I... You're throwing that line at me. Yes, I'm throwing that line at you. <laughs> now I know who my friends are. <laughs> Is that the case? Then I am, I am not going to take the fall with you. No, I was, I'm going to make my own defense. If you can do that, I mean, actually, that's America. Yeah. We all split up, and every person for himself. I'm going to my own cell. Two, <laughs> weeks, two weeks later, in the jungle, Dan and Red are on a little bit of a journey. <laughs> Being back in nature. <laughs> 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 I think I have to talk to you, Dan. All right, let's try. Snakes above us and below us. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't quite told you how I paid for this trip, or where the trip came from. Oh? 
But I really, I'm really glad to get back into nature here. You know, yeah, no, we're, no, no. We're, we're every, we take our lives in our hands with every step. Oh, and, and you were the third person I thought of inviting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well at least I made the the short list. Well, I mean the other two were uh, detained. <laughs> um, um, well, hey, I, I appreciate this. You know, I really feel like I'm getting in touch with myself here, away from all the, the all the accoutrements of civilization. You know, just sort of nature and us. What's wrong? Got the trip from Crime Solvers. You solved the crime. That's that's a good thing. You solved that crime. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Somebody was probably going to turn them in anyway. Oh yeah, I'm sure. You know, maybe their mother, or their father. <laughs> You know, somebody who might have actually hurt even more. I know, I know, I feel horrible about it now. Well, you know, I, I hate to say this, but maybe you should. Well, well, I do, okay? But, Bob was like, not himself. Well, I thought it really didn't matter for him, and Mark, it turned out there's a bonus. That's sort of interesting and sort of unethical if you think about it, but, well, okay, what's done is done, right? I mean, we... Right, yeah, so, right, what's done is done. Right. So it's all right. Well, I don't know. It's, it's weird being in the jungle here thinking the guy hey, who I Dad! thought I had my back. Dad! I killed a yak! Yeah. <laughs> and you dragged it all the way into the jungle! I know! Or Mongolia! Wherever it was, I was there, Dad! I ain't got it here! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> And, and, and you know what, Dad? They, they made me their little chief. That's amazing. They're acquiring skills faster than a 15th level magic user. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already that, Dad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you're their chief? Yeah. That's so what? Whose chief is he? Somebody's. <laughs> Whose chief are you? The, the people of the Yak. Yeah. So far away. Yeah. <laughs> Ola Chai. <laughs> Ola Chai? Yeah. Wait, you mean the very same Ola Chai yeah, that I've read about on Yahoo homepage? They made me. They made me the chief, Dad. I read that they were chiefless. Oh, that's incredible. So I'm going to live here now, Dad, and look after my flock. Your flock of yak? <laughs> no, no, Dad. The flock the, oh, the flock of the people. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm leaving this yak <coughs> as an offering for you guys, Brad, so you guys can gain skills in... It's amazing you found us here. Your tracking skills here. It must be incredible. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> they are. So, I'll be back, my people. Just a second, I'm saying goodbye. Oh, God. Oh, my. Yes. Yes. Tell us. Whatever it is. <laughs> Kinesis? No, that's moving things. <laughs> well, you just do that with that magic. Are you right? Exactly. It doesn't matter, Dad. You always get like this. I'm sorry. Any kind of real emotion, you just pull I'm away. Sorry. I'm sorry. Tell him happy. I'm sorry. I, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I. I... What? God, what just things. Eat the yak, Dad, and I'll eat a piece of yak, too. Yakety yak. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to that. Chewy heart. It's like all muscle. Yak, Dad. Yahoo says the top three ways to prepare yak meat. Uh, do you have garlic? Yeah, never mind. Please enjoy. It's not necessary. Wow, he's just Talking us into our family. I don't think I'm worthy. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Little Danny, if a member of your tribe came up to you and if they said that they had done a bad thing, but they felt that afterwards, would they be able to 
Would they be worthy to eat the small intestine of the yak? I'll get that. <laughs> so they had done a bad thing, and they were sorry. Sorry that the tribe people went to jail. Well, only only if they admitted it to the people they wronged. <laughs> well, my work is done here. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, son. I have to go to my harem. Oh. Dad, you never told me about that part. Yeah, yeah well, you were 12. <laughs> <laughs> what an unusual chain of events right there. No, he's, he's, he's really surpassed me. I, 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 I can't believe it. He's my son. I'm not ready for the small intestine. <laughs> Perhaps you can hold on to it for me. I hope you're ready soon. <laughs> Back at the police station, they were starting to get sweaty. And they went into fever pitches, worrying about, well, everything. And the men lost a little bit of reality, and they found themselves in the rabbit burrow, <laughs> wondering how they were going to get out of a Rabbit Burrow. Hallucination. It's real. It's just real. Bob found a way out, baby. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, on the ground. I feel so different. Like it's all happening. Go ahead, hop, hop. Wait, I have to mate. Hold <laughs> 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 <All> done. <laughs> I have to do. I feel no urge to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but we are strange like that. We are safe here. Yeah. I feel safe and protected. We don't need to leave, even though it's a yeah. We can stay here. We'll stay here. We'll stay here. In the woods, in the burrow. We'll stay here. Just, just gather some leaves. Here's a bed. You're eating the bed. What are you eating? <laughs> Wait, I have to make the game. I'd like to introduce you to my children. What was that? That was fast. Yeah. Wait, I mean, they are coming and they're meeting together. And there's a piece of Popsy and Mopsy. <laughs> and Mopsy and Topsy. <laughs> But the fantasy soon wore off, and they found themselves right back at the police station. I don't know exactly why I'm on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I feel kind of relieved. I have no idea why. Uh, really? <laughs> hey, Bob. Hey, Mark. Yeah, it's, I'd do that too. But he thought of it first. <laughs> <laughs> Look. I know you're so. Is that a funny turd? <laughs> anyway, I guess you're wondering. I guess? I mean, about. You guys are probably one. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I know you're not happy to see me. Hey, how's my Western friend? Doing great. <laughs> Howdy, bye. Bye. Friendly guy. Yeah. Oh, um, I know I wasn't supposed to do this, but I know you smoke sometimes, so I bought you some cigarettes. No, here you go. It's my peace offering. Did you see cigarettes? Yeah, I have one. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last one. I think. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no, the last one. You can have no, 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 no. Sorry, fine. I'm sorry. There's only room for one. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. No, it's sorry is not going to cut it. I, I know it probably won't, but I, I'm just so sorry. And, I mean, I don't even expect you to forgive me, and I know you can't forgive me. And if there's anything I could ever do to somehow in any way make it up, it's just I had to tell you the way I feel so I could eat a yak small intestine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that I wanted to eat the yak intestine as like an atonement thing, but it's, 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 it's more like a metaphor, really. You know, the yak intestine and purity, and you know, who comes out, but then it's cleansed, and you know, you have to talk to the little thing, hey. It's, it's not important. The point is, I did something well, horrible. Little Danny was my lawyer. He, he didn't show up. Yeah, but we're gonna uh, he's, yeah, he's in several countries right now all at the same time, really. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, we we kind of deserved what happened. Yeah, but you didn't deserve to be turned in. No, probably not. <laughs> but maybe we did. Maybe we should have done it ourselves, you know? Yes. We, we should have gone over and then... And I tried to tell you that at the time, but then you started talking in a really accent that I couldn't understand, and I just thought... You, I, I just sold down the river. That's sort of on me, and I'm sorry. Okay, well, but I like you, your honesty. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how far it comes. It's, you know, it takes a big man to. Yeah. You know, I, it is a problem that I. Oh, no. <laughs> Why have you come here? <laughs> I respect what you have done, but you have no reason to come here, but I am. <laughs> Mm. Where is my tea? I need my tea. Where is the tea? Most of the fans are frozen at last. I can go and get you some tea, but it'll take about 20 minutes to get the tea shop, 20 minutes to come back, and 20 minutes to work through the system. <laughs> I'll use my own tea bag then. You're looking good. Yeah, I'm not feeling too bad. The cigarette really kind of made me nauseous. Good news, I got a day with Beatrice. Yeah, like there I am! Oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, okay. You know... Oh, yeah. You're looking good. I should have turned myself in. I should have turned myself in. Yeah, you should have. We shouldn't have listened to each other. <laughs> I'll never listen to you again. No, me too. So I guess we're in here for life. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, I, I still have $2,000 left, and that's good for half a retainer for one of you. Um, well, we can't lose that. <laughs> I don't know who it should go to. So if anybody wants to volunteer. Ah, oh, Al, give it to Mark. He needs it. He was just following uh, guidance. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know what? Bob's had, he's worked for this company for so long. He's put his heart and soul into it. And 
he really is just, it was, it was a moment of weakness for him. And for me, I was, you know, what I was always doing, use my powers to do something evil. <laughs> I mean, I think you both make valid points. So I'm actually going to go and pay bail for that third guy who was here. Well, you know, we've been listening to you over the intercom. And we realize you were the guys aren't so bad after all. Oh. They're such three good friends, willing to stick up for each other. And besides, we can put the foreigner in there. That'll, that'll be good enough. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just have you do some community service. That's all. I love community, community service. service. Yeah, you can, you can do lots of community service. Okay. All right. Thank you, Chief O'Hara. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, just, you know, why would you laugh at that? <laughs> it seems so stereotypical, almost like... It's only stereotypical when you laugh at it. I just need to laugh. You know I need to laugh. You're my compadre. No, sir, I, you know... That's what I, that's what I do. I get it all the time. All right. All right, so you'll be on your way now. And don't let me be seen here again. Oh, you won't be. Come on, Mark. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right. You're honest. You're yeah. right. you'll, be, you'll be cleaning up the genre. Thank you. I appreciate what you did for my friends. No, that's all right. Just, you know, I know that the law is important, but sometimes friendship is more important. <laughs> I do now. <laughs> I do. Later, Danny and Danny Jr. on the mountain top in the land of Norton. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, I mean, Chief. Yeah, Dad. It's great to see you here, and to see the respect that all the people have given, are giving you. Yeah, you know, you don't all have to bow down all at once. <laughs> uh, you see, they they like to fan me too. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know that harem thing is pretty good. I didn't, uh, I didn't know. No, I harem. Harem. No, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I'm done. <laughs> well, for now. Right. Well, you know, I usually just. The son is inspired by the father, but I've been inspired by you. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> this is really not something I want to see. <laughs> um, uh, that's so much fun, Dad. Yeah, it's, you know, it's really, uh, I got to teach you a little bit more about women's lib. <laughs> a little r respect for these women. Maybe you could liberate them. From their hair, I mean. Um, have a seat, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know that I, I take it from your inspiration. I have also become a chief. Really? Not yeah. over such a, you know, vast kingdom as yours that reaches from the steppes of Mongolia to the jungles of Brazil. <laughs> 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 it was a long reach. <laughs> but a little. My own little island kingdom, where I've come to peace with who I am, and I'm, I'm the chief there. So one chief to another, huh? Right, Dad. I learned learned the chief handshake. <laughs> Only chiefs can get away with that. You're right, Dad. I'm gonna give you. The kangaroo from my tribe. <laughs> wow, you go all the way in that direction too. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, the kangaroo from Australia all the way up to the steps of my, that's almost the whole world. Thank God I've got my, oh look at so, she's so cute. But she got in a little pouch there. Oh wow. Gold, Dad. A golden kangaroo. <laughs> well, I'll be in touch, so let's just, well, won't do that again. Hey, Dad. I'm proud of you, Dad. I'm proud of you. And I'm, I'm so happy that you're, that you're proud of me. So I'm going to ride this kangaroo off. <laughs> and we'll be in touch. Hi. I'm glad Tom saved your life, Dad. Saka madak, saka. Thank you.